Hi, it's Cher Quinlan from Tipperary ETB. We're continuing our garden cement crafts this week and what we're doing today is a mushroom cement decoration for your garden. And what you need for it is a cereal bowl. You can use a disposable one as well. Paper cup with the bottom cut out or a 500 ml bottle with the top and bottom cut off. Some vegetable oil or coconut oil to coat the inside of your mold. Cling film. Your sand and cement mix, you're going to use 250 grams of that. A bucket for mixing and your strong household gloves. And to provide support to connect the top to the bottom, you can either use maybe four barbecue skewers or a stick. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our mold. So this will be the top of our mushroom. So just a little bit of coconut oil inside in the bowl. Cover the whole thing. Spit an old paintbrush, use an old cereal bowl, you can use disposable bowls as well. Or if you have anything else that will give you that mushroom shape. Okay, so it's all coated there. Now what I do as well is I add some cling film because it gives a less smooth texture on your cement and it looks more natural. You have little folds in it and it will look more mushroom like. Just patting that on there. Now, The cement will weigh it down anyway, and I usually put a little bit of coconut oil on that as well because I don't want any of it to get embedded into my cement. Don't worry about it rippling and folding because the cement will weigh it down when it goes into the mold. Okay, so you see you have your nice natural looking folds there for your mushroom. So wearing your household gloves and mask, you're adding about 150 mils of water to 250 to 300 grams of your sand and cement mix. Again, it depends on the brand you buy. And you're looking for a consistency like you had last week with the stepping stone. So I suppose I'd call it a porridge-like consistency. Gauge it as well as when you pick it up with your glove, it'll squidge out through the fingers like that, quite runny. And that's how you know you have the correct consistency. Now we're just going to fill our mould. So we have our cereal bowl ready. And we're just going to pack in the cement tightly. Like so. You can go right up to the top of your bowl if you like. Depends on how high you want your mushroom. So just to show you, so we've a stick gone in for support. The paper cup at the top and bottom removed. That's going to be our stalk or stem. And I'm going to pour in some wet cement into that. And so you can see I've just put in a lot of wet cement there and packed it in around the stick. And I'm going to leave that dry overnight. As you can see, it comes out quite easy. Clean film off. And this is the effect I wanted with the cling film, as you may remember me saying that kind of a mushroom effect. I'm just going to put it back into the bowl for a second and take out the jug, the cup. And to remove the cup, you can just tear it because it's paper. And mine's quite low. I could have made my st stalk a bit higher in retrospect, but it's fine. And what I'm going to do before I paint it then, well, I might leave the mushroom stuck with this stick on it while I'm painting it. I'm going to give it a paint tonight. So there's our mushroom. And there's our mushroom.